Yes, I do. Professor Fabio, Professor Fabio. Five man no be imposed. Professor of Mathematic and Arithmetic. The man of every woman dream. Brav, brav. Brav. But I don't even know why you are not even looking my way. Eh? Why now? What is this one doing? What are you even doing with prof for a profound picture? The both of you are still small children. You cannot even understand what I'm doing. Wait, wait. Um, uh, uh, kind of, hmm? We will never understand what you're trying to do. Oh, yes. That we just caught you red handed. Trying to bewitch Oga Profablo with his pictures. Maybe wish. Eh? Maybe wish. Do you know that you'll get into trouble if I report you to Madam? What kind of trouble can I get into? Ah. Eh? See, see, for your information, no? let me tell you, I'm only trying to ruin my yard in this house by arranging the living room and keeping it everywhere very arranged. Eh? And then I then decided to pray. She making me. What prayers are you making using Oga Profablo's picture? This Nanga is even learning on me that the both of you are not even living in this house. Are you not here in this house and you are seeing Oka Maram bringing all kind of women, baby gays to this place, fat, big, short, yellow, white, green, to win Oka Fabio's heart? But you see, the only problem I have, just one problem, is that Oka Fabio is not even looking my way. Okay, so you see now, take a closer look at me. Just take a very closer look at me like this. Look at me now. Do I not have what Professor Fabio wants? Now you look at me now, just look at me. Hi. I'm not saying him, but... I tell you are just sick. Yes, it's what I'm drug. Wait, though, I tell you, let me ask you. I don't even understand what you said. Do you even know the meaning of prof? Oh, yes. Okay, wait, let me ask you. So you mean to tell me that if Oga Prof Fabio bring engagement ring, call me down, as a gentleman, come say, Kaite, will you marry me? You will open this your gutter mouth and say yes. Wonderful lady, you can't find him. Kaite, you want that? I will say, yes, 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 yes. See, let me just tell the whole of you. Hmm? Let me ask you, is there anybody, why would I not even agree? Is there anybody that they will carry sugar and put in his mouth? He will not do it. I want to eat salt. The both of you are just so. The, the both of you don't have sins. I mean, come on for a pass, make a. I'm sorry, come on for a make a pass. Rubbish people. Now, too much dog will into the shop. I need to you. Ah. I knew you were going to come look for me, Mom. Huh? <laughs> Son. Mom. How long are we going to discuss this? Exactly. You will never give up. Why are you always the one cooking when I have people I pay to do the job? Mom, I'm making food that I can eat. Ah. For my stomach, it's, it's not a problem. I pay people to do these jobs. Why would you allow them to do that? Mom, you pay people because you are a professor emeritus. You, you're retired. I, I'm still in active service. So I might as well do this thing to myself, at least for now. Uh. Son. <laughs> yes, Mom. If you're not comfortable with these servants, I can actually lay them off and employ new oh, ones. No, no, no. Who says, Mom? No, no, no. You don't have to lay them off. They're doing an amazing work. I mean, you know, they serve you just the way I even like it. You know, they're really active. It's just that I love to cook, Mom. You know, this is me. Can yeah. you tell me you like it when you have not even allowed them to serve you? <laughs> well, how about I serve you today? Uh, no, I'm I could fine. make you something really nice. You'd love it. I can also make you spaghetti bolognese. You, you, you're going to like Thank it. you. <laughs> I'll be with you soon more. Oh, honestly, I am confused and frustrated over the whole thing. Huh? Esther, how can you say that? This is a beautiful job we have here. And Oga Prof has never delayed in payment of our salaries. You should be happy. 
exactly the point I am trying to make. This is exactly the point I am trying to make. Let me tell you, by now, you are supposed to be jubilating and getting happy. Because my former office where I used to work before, Maoka, used to mayor everything. If you mayor Kuli Kuli, you will mayor Akara. You will even mayor Tuba of Yam. So, you should be happy. All we do in this house is go and job. Go and job. So you should be happy your heaven on earth in this house. Both of you don't even understand what I'm, what I'm trying to say. What is wrong with you? Oh, uh, my Esther. You should have told me that you wanted to insult me now. You should have just told me so that I go and carry it from my, I mean, grandma's mama's stool and sit down and call it all this insult. Eh? Esther, let me even ask you, Safe. What do you know? What do you know, Sabi? What do you know? See, so don't try me in this house. You make sure you don't try me. You are a woman. Quite right. But you are not the one that wrote my exams for me. <sighs> okay. I am sorry if this is the way both of you understood it. All I'm trying to say is that we are all employed to serve here and earn our money. The Toga Fabio refuses us to do anything. Instead, he chooses in it himself. What is this? Hello. Are you doing wrong, brother? Is that what a problem? Since he has chosen to be a workaholic, you want to be working and be working. Let him continue to do the job now. Why me I continue to collect my money and be eating the food? See, let me just tell you, as you see me like this, I am not bothered at all at all. And I expect the both of you not to be bothered too. Hey, that's what I can tell you. Uh -uh. Take the advice and take it home. We both saw. I've been begging you this, I've been talking to you, you're not even saying anything. You're just keeping me quiet and you're being cold. What's going on? Babes, it's me. Talk to me. Please. Just just talk to me. Say anything. I, it's me, George. Eh? George, please. I need more time. That's all I ask. More time? You know I'm a patient man. I've given you so much time. I've waited all this while for you to just say yes. Just accept my proposal and let's move more on. More time, please. Let me, what more time do you want? I love you, babe. Your love has entrapped me and, and I will do anything to keep you. Please, just, just say yes to me, please. Please, babe, it's me. It's me, George. I love you. Oh, okay, okay, fine. I want to be candid with you. Okay. Listen, I am not ready to get married. What? <laughs> Are you trying to ditch me? No, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. Are, are you trying to dump me? No, 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 not, not like that. I, I mean, I, right now, I am not in that frame of mind. I'm not, I'm not settled. I'm not ready to, to settle down. For how long? Listen, listen. Get your hands off me! I, I, I can't explain. I mean, I, I I'm just trying. I'm, I'm not, like, I'm, my mind is not settled. Just try and understand. Don't I, call me back to me. George, listen, it's, it's not like that. If you get so close to me, I will beat you up! Don't you ever talk to me! And see, don't call me and don't get close to me, okay? George, don't be like that, George! Get the living here! My dear, are you actually crying? Mother, the worst has happened. He, he got infuriated and left. Who? George. Who is George? One of my suitors. Actually, the one that is very close to me. Oh, I see. He's angry because I, I rejected his marriage proposal. It's okay. Just calm down. Honestly, Mother, I, I can't keep doing this. Uh, I can't keep doing this. Because I don't, I'm not even sure that your son is ready to make me his wife. This is one thing I will deal with, definitely. Stop. I don't think I'm doing the right thing, Mother. I don't think so. I can't keep chasing all my suitors away. I can't keep doing this. Where are you now? I'm at home. Just stay there. I'll tell my driver to come and pick you up, okay? 
All right, I'll be waiting. All right. Don't keep me waiting, okay? Why is he keeping me waiting for goodness sake? He had better not keep me waiting. Fabio. Yes, Mom. Why did you keep me waiting for you? Uh, sorry, I kept you waiting, Mom. But you know that it's not in my nature to leave behind the dishes that I used in cooking and eating, so I had to take care of that. What does that mean? Meaning that I was dishwashing, Mom. Poor Dadash. Mom, please, please, don't start. I don't understand this. I needed your attention. But you wasted so much time. Now you're telling me that you were dishwashing. Why? When I know that I employed people to do that in this castle. Why are you giving extra weights to this, mom? Stop bothering yourself. You know I'm already setting my ways. This is who I am. Nothing can change it, mom. Eh? I just like to be a gentle man in my own world and, and do things for myself. <laughs> Fine. Now, Fabio, tell me. Why are you refusing to get intimate with the bride I chose for you? Uh, Mom, why are you still flogging this issue? Son, I've really come too far to start relenting on this issue. I'm planning extreme measures to hook me up with a said maiden would clearly not work, Mom. Because I know what I want. And beyond that, I'm not in a hurry to settle. Your reason being? That I will get married someday. Not just yet. Is that all, Mom? I believe that will be all normal. What? Did it just walk out on me? Who would have believed that Fabio, an apt scholar who has attained the height of professorship, in mathematics education is not interested in marriage even at 49. I have
have tried every tactics. I have tried every means, even gentle actions, to manipulate him into trying to get a wife. But everything proved abortive. Since he finds it very difficult to get a wife, I have gone out of my way to get one for him. But unfortunately, he's, he's not even showing any interest in Onye. Not to talk of making her his wife. As a lecturer in Science University of Unjikoka, S.U.N., they have given him a sabbatical leave, something that comes up every seven years. I was thinking this would give him an opportunity to find himself a wife, but no. My goodness. How did I feel as a mother? What did I commit? I was thinking that at 49, my son should have his family. some fine shots. <laughs> I could make a professional photographer though. I don't look shoddy at all. And I see this one. Yes. Okay. Well, this is good too. Um, a bit softer, but not too cool. This is Trisha speaking. Trisha, I don't think I know who I'm speaking with. Trisha from Science University. Um, no, I don't quite follow. I get to meet a lot of young girls every day, so, you know, um, forgive me if I don't remember you. It's okay, I'm in your compound. What, you're here? I am standing in your compound. Um, okay, you know what? Um, tell the house staff to show you to the waiting lobby. Okay? Okay, sir. Who is this? Good afternoon, Prof. Oh, you. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, you're welcome. So how are you doing today, my Prof? Um, okay, enjoying my sabbatical leave, and how are you? Mm, I'm fine. It is so glaring you're certainly having a swell in your sabbatical, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. So, um, what brings you here unannounced, if I might add? Um, I'm so sorry I came on a way. It was just impromptu. You know, I came here because I'm having issues with my further maths. I tried to solve it, but I couldn't. Mm. You know I'm not good in mathematics. <laughs> yeah, even if you say so yourself, eh? <laughs> that it means that you're not qualified to be in the sun. Uh, you're, you're not meant to be in science university you're supposed to be studying arts or you know something away from a lot of arithmetics yes i know i should be studying an art course but my parents insisted i go for science they did yeah typical you see that's what we we deal with 
uh, these days. It's, it's quite prevalent in the times that we live in, uh, which is the reason you have a lot of um, half-baked graduates and um, half-baked undergraduates in universities because these kids, um, you know, are forced to go against their will and study something that they do not have a passion for. And at the end of the day, you know, comes out funny. So you have a lot of people that are unqualified in this society. Mm. Um, you know, square pegs and round holes and uh, all of that. But today's not for lectures. Yeah. <laughs> um, Prof, can you please help me to solve it just this one more time? No, 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 no. no. I've been bad from all academic work. I'm on sabbatical, remember? I, I hope you're not trying to send me away, Prof. Well, I am not, but at the same time, you know, uh, I'm on leave. I shouldn't be doing academic work. Prof, please, I sincerely crave your indulgence. Just help me to solve this mathematics just this one last time. And I'll forever be indebted to you, please. Okay, it's okay. I'll do it. It's, let's, let's see what you have. Okay. I would prefer to do this in your room. What? Oh, we are good here. Of course, we're fine here. Let's see what you have. Okay, I see you came with your textbook. <laughs> you didn't have to, but it's okay. Okay, I see what you're dealing with here. This. This should be easy peasy for you now. It's not mm -hmm. difficult. You have um, um, 2x multiplied by 10b minus 25. What does that give you, Tricia? 2x multiplied by 10b minus 25 would be? Cool. Is this why you're here? Prof, you're so cute. Trisha, um, hold on a second. Are you here for me to help you with schoolwork or you're here for this? Prof, can you just stop this whole thing? You know I love you, you need to so answer my, much. You what? I love you. Oh, not again. Prof, please. I really love you. Oh, Tricia. Tricia, how did it go? Oh, same old story, ma'am. Your son is such a hard nut to crack. And seriously, I want to back out. I, Trisha, cannot continue to force my way into Fabio. My dear, you cannot chicken out now. Ma'am, at this point, I think the best thing for me to do is to retreat. Persistence, Trisha. Persistence. You have to keep pressing. Okay? Ma'am. This, I'm already looking stupid. Can't you see it? Just take, take a good look at me. I am a very beautiful woman. I don't go for men. Men chase after them because of who I am and what I represent. Me trying to lure your son to get down with me is not what I... Like I said earlier, you need to persist in spite of the opposition. Ma'am. I have been into this demeaning act of waywardness right from his 47th birthday. I have been persistent for a whole of two years trying to lure your son to get down with me. And it's obvious it's not working at all. Trisha. Ma'am, I must state the obvious. Your son, Professor Fabio, I know is either gay or impotent. I take exception to that. My son is not gay. Neither is he important. 
Ma'am, Professor Fabio always flames when it comes to the matters that has to do with women. My son is a full-fledged man. He has feelings, just like every other man. Ma'am, Professor Fabio is lucid. And the truth is glaring. What truth? The truth that he doesn't want me. Well, Tricia. Ma'am. I know my son is very objective, but... Ma'am, hold on. Let's just cut the whole long story short. This whole idea is already making me look cheap. Um, I, I beg to take my leave now. It's okay. I'll call you again. Okay. Have a nice day. You too. My prayer all my life is to see my son pick a wife. But he does not seem to be in a hurry. What have I not done for him to notice me? What tricks, what tactics have I not used? I don't know what's going on. Is it that he's not seeing all these beautiful maidens trooping in and out of this compound? He has suitors and admirers coming in, filing in for her. I don't know what my son is doing. I don't know what is wrong with him. Fabio, what is wrong with you? What is it? Should I tell you the truth? Mm -hmm. I think you're just angry for nothing. Madam Esther raised a valid concern, and I, I don't think you should dismiss her just like that. What is her concern? Imelda, you've been working with Professor for a very long time. Don't fall my hand. I speak to you to get things, oh. It seems. Ikaite, you have to stop this. So, the same way you insulted others is the way you're insulting me now. How did I insult you now? I'm only speaking my mind. And I am telling you that your said mind is not making any sense. For crying out loud, Ikaite, our job is at stake. And you need to think. Okay, now. Tell me what you want us to do. See, to me, I would say we should all go and plead with Oga Fabio. Yes, let's beg him to stop doing our job. We are paid for this job and he should stop doing it for us. Mahabasi, me, I cannot do that. I cannot do that. What do you mean you cannot do it, Ekaiti? Do you want them to fire us? Nobody can fire me. Because I was not the one that asked Professor Fabio to be doing the entire work. Let him do the work. Eh, and for your information, he does not like to be called Oga Fabio. He is a professor. Call him Professor Fabio. That name is William Dye. <laughs> I, uh -huh. I am tired of you. Do you know why? Why? You are an impossible character. Leave that for me. I like her. Like impossible Good character. Night. Good night. Good night. I don't understand. What is so special about this prof guy? Bella, like I told you before, it's Prof Fabio for me. Why him? Why are you doing this thing to yourself? Procrastination, they say, is the thief of time. Time waits for no one. I mean, time is ticking fast. She doesn't know. Well, he's the one my heart yearns for. He's a good man. 
He doesn't take advantage of anybody. And I, Oyinye Chinzeribe, I want to get married to that good man. I want to spend the rest of my life with Fabio. Uh, we are friends, right? And we would look out for each other. Okay, fine. I'm not disputing the fact that Prof is a good man. He is a wonderful man. But would you rather you keep chasing away all the suitors and admirers you have just because of one Prof that is not interested? He doesn't want to marry you. I know you're not daft, right? You see he's not giving you any green light. He will come around. Tell her, for I'm sick and tired of trying to talk our friend out of this. Oni, you think that man who has sworn never to get married at 49 will one day have a rethink and come for you? It's not possible. It's not possible. It's mission impossible. The earlier, the better. And as far as I know, girlfriend, he's not coming for you. It's not happening. I'm not even seeing it. Girls, thanks for looking out for me. But like I said before, it's prof or no one else. What? What? I'm just checking. Let me know if you have malaria or you're fine. You are the one that has malaria. No! I am fine. I am fine. Check. It's I think she has like... Prof! Prof! I love... Is, 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 is it now a crime to be in love? No, I no. love him and I'm willing to wait for Babe, him. Babe, not with a man that is... 49, like he's not interested. Yeah, welcome, ma'am. Thank you. Take this inside. What is it? Mother, I'm tired. I just want to walk away. You're confusing me, daughter. I don't understand. Who are you walking away from? Fabio. Honestly, mother, I want to walk away from this complicated, confused, and embarrassing situation. Just calm down, okay? He doesn't love me. Did he tell you that? He doesn't have to say it. Action speaks louder than words. All right, me. Just calm down, okay? It is not something I can't handle, trust me. Everything will be fine, okay? Mother, honestly, I am hurting. Honestly, I'm it's hurting. I'm sorry. What you really need now is something to calm your nerves. Do you mind coming in with me? I'll get you something very refreshing, okay? I've been there for about a year. They call Brandine before my sister in open come, come tell me and say, Oh, come, madam, they call me. No vex. Save your explanation. Fine, your car. Fine, small, come, madam. Welcome. Thank you, Akaite. Go and get something very refreshing for her to drink. Don't forget to wash those dirty hands of yours, okay? Oh, come, madam, the dogs. Make you no worry. As you see me, so if I come out over here, I could go wash my hands with a no water, soap and sponge. I could even use hand sanitizer, take wash and wait, wait. My dear, <laughs> I'll soon join you, okay? All right, ma. Why are you screaming? Oh, come, madam. Small, come, madam. You know, see, something I refuse to say. Oh, God, very, very partial. 
I don't understand. Okay, you make I make you to understand. You see, how can only one person be this natural beauty? You can't tell. You can't find way with. Why other people be equal war war? In war war? <sighs> ah, Ekaite. You're so funny. Okay. Thanks for the compliment, anyway. You're welcome. Okay, madam, just the dogs. Hmm? See, you really just the dogs. The dogs like that. Make I go bring something when you come in, you're going to the shine more more. The dogs one, are you come? I'm waiting. Thanks, madam. Okay, madam. Ekaite is so funny. Mm -hmm. Who come now? Oka Maran get guess. Who be the guess now? Be the question. Okay. Now Baris tell you nyang. Ah, I think say she don't go. Go okay. Somebody wait tandare for pile of the rock of your wrist that I cannot be moved. She tandare oh. She never go anywhere. Oka Maran say make I go wash my hand well well with enough soap, water, and sanitizer before I can start the use where they go ring. So oh. I won't go to the store and I'll go collect all those materials so I could use to wash my hand. Mm -hmm. Okay, now. Kaite, Kaite. I'm the soon go out, so. I just they help you, they wash, they clean everywhere. To see how a musician, I have a wrong album, you know, no. Take a bar and young, 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 Anything for you? <laughs> Mother, you should know I kite by now. You're the one that asked her to wash her hands thoroughly, so she must be at it. She has to spend eternity washing her hands. <laughs> Did you hear when she said she used soap, sponge, sanitizer, and everything? <laughs> Ekaite! Oh. Ekaite! Oh, oh, son? What were you doing in your room? Well, nothing serious actually. I was uploading um, pictures, uh, you know. I was emailing my shots to some, you know, agent in New York that promised to make a very fine display of them for me in the next art exhibition. I'm just hopeful and optimistic. Uh, anything else, Mom? I. I. I guess you're going out. Yes, Mom. Of course, I'm going out. You know, when I'm armed with this, it's me versus nature. So I guess I see you later, Mom. That's fine. Okay? Uh, okay. All right. Hey, Kaite! Yes, you come, madam, yes. So finally, you have brought it. Why did it take you so long? 
Oh, come, madam, why you do this for me like this now? No, you talk to me like go back here, go wash my hand with all those materials. I can't use all those materials. I can't say, say you know, you know, cook, I can't add hypo, go wash your well, well. I told you. Okay, madam, enjoy your co use. I will enjoy it. <laughs> Thank you. Yes, okay. Serve it, serve it, serve it only. Okay, you don't move. Okay, okay. okay, okay. You can leave. No, Kamara. Huh? <laughs> you can go, go. Okay, Kamara. Kamara. <laughs> My dear, please drink your juice before you go to school. <laughs> Thank you, man. <laughs> My dear Queen Earth, now you have to summon up courage, okay? I don't like weak-minded people. Oh, he's here. I'll call you again pretty soon, okay? All right, bye. Mom. <clears throat> Son, you're here. Oh yes, um, who was that on the phone? Oh, it was Queeness. She asked after you. Oh, she did? I see. I must have been the topic for discussion, as always. <clears throat> she complained about your coldness towards her. Oh well, it's a free world. We're all entitled to our opinion. By the way, Mom, Today was a good day. You should see what I have here. Ah, I am happy. <laughs> My long walk into the wild was very, very fruitful today. You need to see what I have here. You know, the joy it gives when I just, you know, take a long walk and I'm taking pictures, taking beautiful shots of birds, animals, you know, wildlife, and sometimes human beings, you know, carrying on with their daily activities. Oh, quite fulfilling. And then, you know, after all that I did today, mother, you need to see what I have here. Ah, I cannot wait to send the samples to my foreign clients who would give anything to have their hands on this footage. I'm going to make money. I will make some money. Mom. Son. You okay? Yes. What else do you know how to do best, apart from taking pictures? I know how to be happy. This gives me joy, Mom. Gives me fulfillment. Apart from being a university lecturer, this makes me happy. Go ahead, son, and continue taking pictures. But time waits for no one. You're not getting younger. I know when it is my life and I am going to live it how I deem it best. Fine. Go ahead and live your life. Live it to the fullest. <laughs> At 49, a man who has Attain the height of eminence in his chosen profession is yet to be settled, and he calls it life? Hell no. I'm embittered that out of all these women frolicking around this around this castle, you have refused to pick one. Mom. Were those women coming here because of me? I thought they were your friends. Uh, I thought those were your guests. 
of all the ladies trooping in and out of this castle, I picked Tony because of her innate character. Wow. Hmm. Wow, mom, wow. So you've been the one cajoling these women into coming to the castle here to lure me into having something with them. Mom. Mom. Son. All I ask of you is for you to be married and give me grandchildren and I will be happy. You will be happy. Everyone will be happy. Winnie is one woman that I like. Winnie is a wonderful person. She's an embodiment of beauty plus brains. She's a superwoman. Her bravery Her bravery is, is what, mother? What? A long list of her qualities. I don't care. Mom, no. You have blown this out of proportion. How can you go out of your way to try to hook me up with all these women trying to find me a wife, mom, at my level? Come on, mother. This is below the belt. I'm not just educated and exposed. I am a professor, mother. No. She was here earlier today. She was dead for you for so long. But she had to go. You know what, Mother? I have nothing else to say on this. But I don't know what you think of me, but I tell you who I am. When it comes to women, I am a very responsible man. Very responsible. How dare you walk out on me, Fabio? A child I nurtured. This is strange, ma'am. But I perfectly understand what you're driving at. I mean, I've been with Prof not once, not twice. He seems to be dead whenever he's with the opposite sex. I, I mean, he has been a helping hand each time I'm having some challenges with mathematics. He's such a genius. But certainly not in women affairs. <sighs> Honestly, Dr. Duke, I don't know how else to handle this. My son shirks each time marriage is being mentioned. Really? Yes. He does not want anybody to help him. He cooks his food, washes his cars, does his laundry, does practically everything for himself. What? With all the maids and servants around here, my son doesn't want to be served. Wow. Even when I want to get intimate with him, he would dismiss that in the most polite manner. <laughs> I mean, Professor Fabio is such a wonderful man for crying out loud. What could possibly be stopping him from picking a life partner? That is where I want you to come in. I want you to try again. I want you to make him fall in love with you. Ma'am? Me? Yes. Why me? The answer is simple. You are single. Ma'am, don't forget I'm a single mother. I have two kids for two different men already. I know all that already. 
I want you to come in because you are more experienced. You are experienced with men's affairs. At least, you have already produced two children, two grown children. Please, I would like you to do this for me. Ma'am, there is this sardonic expression on his face each time he sees me. Honestly, I don't think he's going to. He won't have anything to do with me. Yes. Even though he feels relaxed whenever he's helping me out with my mathematical problems. Besides, he he gets his truths from snapshots and other things. I doubt if this is going to work out, ma'am. Must it be today? I didn't plan for this. Dr. Duke, mm. please, do this for me. This is one favor I will not forget in a hurry. Please. Mom, after everything I explained, I have tried this before. I even went as far as showing him raw pictures, yet he declined. I'm sorry, ma'am. I can't do this today. That is because you have been doing it on your own all this while. Now you have my blessing. Trust me. He will give in. Ma'am, what if he doesn't give in? What if he fails me? I will not be able to take it. Please let me go. What if you succeed this time? Will you not be happy to stay with me here? <clears throat> Come on, let's go. Uh, so, um, Noella, you see, as a professor of mathematics education, not only do I offer academic help, I also offer full-time tutorials and academic counseling for my students. I don't stop there. I keep tabs on their records and also ensure that I have my eyes on their classwork. Are you listening to me at all? Yes, bro. Good. So you're here because you're having challenges with um, um, applied mathematics, which I think you know should come easy for any student of mathematics. Applied mathematics, general mathematics, you know, uh, should be a walk in the park for you, Noella. Huh? Prof, that can wait. I am willing to offer you myself. Do to me whatever that pleases you. Noella, where is this coming from? Nothing but love. It's all love, my love. Uh, 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 hold on, hold on, please. You know, someone can actually walk in here and you know exactly what the scenario would look like. 